Technoblade is out of the prison and as we all know, we'll be breaking Dream out of the prison too. And that is all good, we know this, but what will happen once Dream is out of the prison? Will he go after Quackity? Will he go after Tommy and Turbo? Or will he just run away and hide from everyone? Let's talk about it and the other possible things to happen in the future of the storyline. Starting with finding out the connection between Rambu and Dream. This is something that I'm sure many of you are curious about because we've seen dedicated streams where Rambu has been sort of controlled by Dream, but why? And really, how? I know there are a few theories going around that Dream had entered the end a while ago, and when he entered the end, Rambu came out of the portal, leading to Dream being sort of scared of the end and banning anyone from entering it. But I also really like the idea that Dream and Rambu are connected via a sort of experiment or test that went wrong. Maybe Dream tried to humanize an Enderman by giving the Enderman some of his DNA, and it ended up turning into Rambu, half maybe human and half Enderman. But let's move on to Dream hiding. Not forever, and obviously he'll be planning and other things, but just generally just hiding for a bit of time. As B mentions, Dream escapes and would go into hiding so that he can gear up and plan his next move. Because really, he can't rush into things because once he's out of the prison, he has nothing. He wouldn't be able to fight anyone on the server unless he has a massive death wish. So taking some time, finding out who would actually help him and creating a plan of attack would be a great option. To add to this, we know that currently Wilbur is idolizing Dream. And once Wilbur hears about Dream's escape, we can know for sure that Wilbur will go out and try to find him. Him. Not to take him out or kill him in any way, but to make friends with him. Wilbur feels like he owes everything to Dream, and Dream can abuse that, making Wilbur betray his closest friends and using Wilbur to attack others. And this moves on to our next theory, Dream going out and taking revenge on Quackity. Because let's be honest, Quackity has been an arsehole to Dream whilst he has been in prison, constantly going to visit the prison with the main goal of torturing and getting information out of Dream, that if Dream goes on to kill Quackity, I can't say I would be surprised. And yeah, with Dream finding out who could be on his side, he may ask Techno for help. We've seen Techno and Dream work together in the past, and with Techno breaking out Dream, we can tell that they are sort of decent friends I'd assume, and that if Dream can really convince Techno to be on his side, then maybe Techno will take some time out and help Dream with his revenge. But speaking of just killing people on the SMP, will Dream go out and kill Turbo? Brooke mentions how Dream said he would peel off his armour off of Turbo's dead skin, which is the most graphic thing to come from a Minecraft roleplay. But anyways, this tells us that Turbo's end might be close, especially now that Turbo is partnered with Las Nevadas, a place owned by Quackity. Which is amazing for Dream as he can take out two birds with one stone, but I also want to point out and mention the TNT under Las Nevadas that Wilbur told Rambu to place. That is something that is really big, but hasn't been talked about in a while. So if Dream and Wilbur eventually partner up, then we may get to see a really cool firework display. And during that firework display, Quackity and Turbo could be taken out with it. But why would he just destroy Las Nevadas? Nevadas. Another theory is that Dream will obviously go far away, get his tools, etc, but will then come back to the mainland of the SMP to destroy it all. Because let's be honest, no one in the SMP was exactly on his side, especially in the mainland of the SMP. And he may see that as a personal attack rather than them just trying to protect each other, and he had already tried to take personal possessions away from everybody on the SMP to use them as leverage. So if he can't control everybody on the SMP, then what's the point of them being on the SMP? He may just pull a Technoblade and take some time away to gather a bunch of wither schools and get a bunch of TNT together and instead of letting it rip through one area on the SMP, he'll let them rip through everything, therefore destroying the whole SMP so that he can rebuild it back to his own. And also allowing him to own everything because everybody's previous possessions have literally just been blown up. Dream would be the leader of everything and it wouldn't be via choice or politics or anything like that, but through force. And I think we haven't fully seen that. We've seen Technoblade take down governments and things but he didn't then claim it to be his own. So maybe Dream can walk in and take that place. And as we proceed to talk about blowing up half the server, I want to talk about moving on from this world of the SMP. What I mean by that is with many places blown up on the server and things being destroyed, it's always good to move on and create new things. And the perfect way to do this would be with a completely new world. We've seen on the most recent Origins SMP world that they can add the caves and cliffs into a version of Minecraft and put it onto a server. So why wouldn't they do that with the Dream SMP? 
SMP. I know a lot of the lore and things may be a bit skewed after it, but in general, I think this would be the best thing for them. Personally, I love new worlds and starting from fresh, especially with all the new 1.17 additions. So a new world, in my opinion, would bring great content for streams and more. But obviously they couldn't do this straight away and they'd have to wait for certain storylines to be over and linked back up together. But I just felt like I should mention the new world idea because I really want to see it, as I believe it would bring a lot more excitement back into the SMP and the streams would just be amazing. Now if you want to get a cinematic idea of what it may look like for Dream to break out of the prison, check this video out which is on screen.